gave an interview the other day in which you said you've been briefed on unidentified flying objects. Are they are they real? Uh, well, I don't want to really get into it too much, but personally, I tend to doubt it. Uh, I mean, you have people that swear by it, right? And pilots have come in and they said, and these are pilots that are not pilots that are into that particular world. But we have had people saying that they've seen things. Uh, I'm not a believer, but, you know, I guess anything's possible. We spoke to. All right, Greg, what do you got? Let's start by talking about presidents in general. They, they have a, a product they're selling. They have a brand and his brand is chairman. That's his brand and always will be. Each of these guys, I'll tell you what I call their brand. He stays to his brand. He does the typical Trump thing as he's illustrating and he's regulating. He puts his hands together, pushes you out and then comes back. One interesting thing to note, pay attention to this emotional eye accessing cue. When people look down into their right, those are emotional eye accessing cues. As you think about your children, think about happy moments or sad moments, you'll find your eyes drifting down to your right. This president does this. At the minute he says, I talk to you, watch Trump back up and brace for what's coming. And I think he's navigating here. If you watch his eye movement and him choosing and editing words to make sure he doesn't say anything bad about servicemen and women that he values. That's all I think we see here. Um, Chase, what do you got? Yeah, I think the the video starts out with what, Greg, that you really helped all the panelists identify something called the surrender steeple, when the steeple has, has gone down a little bit. And that's pretty normal for him. And when he says, personally, I tend to doubt it, he has an invisible question mark there. And he does not hardly ever use this up talk where his, the tone of his voice goes up at the end. And one other thing I think is unusual here for this video is that when Trump wants you to believe something, he socializes the situation. He'll say other people are believing this, and then he'll build up the credibility of those other people, which we see here. I mean, you have people that swear by it, right? And pilots have come in. We have had people saying that they've seen things. And that's been the way that he operates since day negative 5,000 of his campaign. So he's been doing this a long time. I also think Tucker could have asked probably a more open-ended question here and might have got a little bit more data from there. Scott? All right. I think another thing we see in common here uh, with all, and that we're going to see in common with all these videos that, that's go, that are this one of the threads that goes throughout these things is that, that these guys, when it comes to the presidents, and well, pretty much everybody, they've been told not to tell what they know. You know, they, if there is anything there. So they've all got their stock. They all cover the same stuff. They all cover how we don't know what it is. We don't know uh, where it came from. They talk about movements, those types of things. And then they go on to uh, talk about how it could be, it's possible it could be something from another planet or something like that. So we really don't see them um, nailed. Nobody says, nope, that's not it. Or, yep, that's it. Nobody gives a yes or a no, really. We just see that. And we know that, that, that Trump's being pretty honest about this, about giving the information he can give because his tone goes low. His, vo his voice goes low and his tone goes low. He gets quiet. And then he starts delivering his answer. He gives strong eye contact there at the top. But he looks away for a minute to check his story. I believe that we'll find out as we go through here, these people have been given, um, here are the facts you can give. These, these two or three facts, that's it. But just add your thing to it. So they take that information and they put their, like, like Greg was saying, they put their information and they, they form their version of the story around those facts. I think in this case, Trump is, is, is telling all he can tell us at this point. Mark, what do you got? Yeah, so there's some classic baseline Trump there, the point, the wipe, symmetrical, lots of stuff that we'd really expect from him. Uh, what we wouldn't normally expect is some of those vocal clicks that you get. Now, quite often I tell you a vocal click is meaning some stress. I think the stress here is about him not being able to take charge of this story. And if he were able to take charge of this story, then it would be, yeah, we've seen the biggest fleet of spaceships. We've had the largest amount of spaceships coming in. And, but really, he's not, he's not taking charge of this in that kind of way. So we kind of get this story of he doesn't really have anything. To, to give us. Normally he'd be exuberant, he'd be full of energy, full of hyperbole about it, and there's nothing of that usual nature. So that, to Scott's point, either means, you know, he's been told, you know, don't, you don't 
don't take this story anywhere, or he has nowhere to take it. There is just nothing there. I don't know which one it is at this point, but we're not seeing, we're seeing some of the usual ch Trump and some of the unusual Trump as well. There, that's what I got for you on that one. One of those tape replays. I gave an interview the other day in which you said you've been briefed on unidentified flying objects. Are they, are they real? Uh, well, I don't want to really get into it too much, but personally, I tend to doubt it. Uh, I mean, you have people that swear by it, right? And pilots have come in and they said, and these are pilots that are not pilots that are into that particular world. But we have had people saying that they've seen things. Uh, I'm not a believer, but, you know, I guess anything's possible. We spoke to if you like this video, get the full body language breakdown and analysis on our main channel by clicking this video right here.